polls been closed in uh, the, the Wisconsin for quite some time. Uh, we're not in a position to say how we think it's going to go. With Iowa, it looks like it's going to be well into the day tomorrow, given the machine problems, quote-unquote, that they had. New Mexico with five electoral votes, Nevada with five, and Hawaii with four, also in the uh, yet-to-be-settled category as far as our CBS News projections are concerned. Now, we're going to take a, a slight break here in a moment to let some stations who may have been away rejoin us. Don't go away. We'll be right back. It's the morning after Election Day, but it ain't over till it's over, and it ain't over yet. Michigan has just slid into the carry column by our estimate. That, by our projections, give the senator 238 electoral votes. President Bush, with 249, by our estimate, is just 21 electoral votes shy of re-election. But that could prove to be, please underscore the word, could prove to be a very tough 21 to get standing in President Bush's way, among other things, but primarily Ohio. If he could win Ohio, uh, he'd be there. But uh, it's, it's uncertain at this hour when anybody's going to know how Ohio has gone. And you may be saying, well, listen, I saw someplace else somebody had Ohio in President Bush's category. They're entitled to do that. What we say again, we said coming into tonight, we'd rather be last than be wrong. We don't want to be wrong about Ohio. If it takes a, a day or more to settle Ohio, so be it. Our position is that we just don't feel comfortable estimating it at this, at this moment. Now, let's add them up. With 270 electoral votes needed to win, our estimate is that uh, President Bush has 249, Kerry has 238, 270 needed to win. The states in white are where the polls have closed. The polls have closed everywhere now, but where uh, we have not projected a winner as yet. Ohio... Uh, the big one with 20 electoral votes. Wisconsin with 10. Iowa with 7. Look out on Iowa because, as Mika Brzezinski and Ed Bradley have been saying, looks like Iowa has machine problems. Aren't going to know how those seven electoral votes go until sometime at least uh, fairly deep into tomorrow. Uh, New Mexico, which went for Gore the last time uh, by a, a paper-thin margin. Five electoral votes there. President Bush might wind up carrying it. Who can say? Nevada, uh, which President Bush carried the last time, five electoral votes. The Democrats like to think they have a chance there. Out in Hawaii, four electoral votes. We still have it uh, in the white, meaning we can't estimate, not going to estimate how it's going to go. Uh, the Republicans like to think that they have a chance there. Now, in the race to control the Senate uh, some time ago, Leslie Stahl has said, well, listen, the Republicans are definitely going to control the, the next Senate. It's only a question by how many are they going to uh, votes they're going to have control. The Republicans will control the House of Representatives by how many seats? Unclear. Uh, one guess, and it's, it's, it's a guess, maybe 24 or 30 seats. We'll just have to see. I want to show you something on the reporter's notebook because it may put things in some perspective for you. We keep writing down on our pad over here, my old reporter's notepad, well, okay, Ohio. And that's pretty much where things are. However, on this electronic gadget which they've given me here, uh, Bush needs 21, Kerry needs 32. Now, follow me through here, because if, if John Kerry should wind up carrying Ohio's 20 electoral votes, if in the end Ohio gets colored blue, George Bush could still win the election. He could still win. He would need, George Bush would need then, to pick up Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes, Iowa with 7, and then George Bush would need to carry either New Mexico and its 5 or Nevada and its 5. So George Bush is in the position that even if he loses Ohio, there is a way... A lot of people say, well, it's not very likely he's going to win Wisconsin and Ohio and then pick up either Nevada or New Mexico, but it's possible. George Bush could lose Ohio's 20 electoral votes and still win. For John Kerry, just not going to happen. If he doesn't win Ohio, that's the reason that the you know, Kerry people are so fixed on Ohio. So that's one way of looking at the race so far. Jim Axelrod in Boston at Kerry headquarters has more on John Edwards' appearance there some minutes ago. One thing, Jim Axelrod, you know, we didn't see as much 
of John Edwards during the campaign or during this election day, as a lot of people thought we were. The Republicans sort of tarred him by saying, if he doesn't show up soon, we're going to put his a picture on milk cartons so we can find him. But he's the man they send out tonight to carry their, carry their heavy wood for them. Yeah, and, and, and in one minute and 17 seconds, Dan, he may have just absolutely said the most important thing that anyone said all night as far as the candidates go. I want to review for you, when he was saying it's been a long night, waited four years for the victory, we can wait one more night, essentially you've heard the, the phrase, the generals are always fighting the last war, well politicians do that as well. He was clearly staking out ground in the event that this thing will then move to the courts and as he concluded his comments, he said, we have said clearly along every step of this campaign, every vote would count and every vote would be counted. Again, Dan, one minute and 17 seconds by my clock from the minute he walked out on stage to the minute he walked off. But he said everything he needed to in terms of staking out the turf that the Kerry Edwards campaign will guard jealously if that's their last hope to win. Dan? Jim Axelrod live in Boston. We go to Wyatt Andrews, CBS News correspondent in Washington, who's uh, with some, uh, some of the voices and some of the loud talk coming from the Republicans down the headquarters down there. Wyatt, what have you learned? What are you hearing? Dan, just a few minutes ago, we got uh, confirmation that Republicans think they have this election. Ed Gillespie, who is the chairman of the Republican National Committee, came out a few minutes ago to explain the math as the Republicans see it. He said they believe that they have, President Bush has a 123,000 vote lead in Ohio. And he said there are 130,000 provisional ballots Excuse out me, there. White Andrews, I have to interrupt you yes. here because our CBS News estimate is that John Kerry, when all the votes are encountered, will have carried Hawaii and gotten Hawaii's four electoral votes. You recall that uh, Vice President Dick Cheney flew out to Hawaii hoping to turn what has generally speaking, been a Democratic bastion of support in presidential elections, Republicans' way, not going to be. Now, the significance is that moves, in our uh, estimates, John Kerry up to 242, George Bush with 249, with 270 needed to win. Now, you know, if this thing gets any closer, somebody's going to have to call 911, call the police, call a nurse, call somebody, because uh, it's, uh, what, oh, 19 minutes before 3 o'clock in the morning here in New York, and everybody's focused down on Ohio, but as states like Hawaii uh, drop in to Kerry's column, Kerry is creeping up, creeping up on George Bush. Still advantage Bush, any way you cut it. Uh, better likelihood that Bush will wind up winning than Kerry, but as Wyatt Andrews is reporting from Washington, the Republicans have already done their arithmetic, and they believe they have it won. Wyatt, pick it up from there again, please. Dan, I was just about to explain, they think that of those 130,000 provisional ballots, Ed Gillespie, chairman of the Republican National Committee, claims that probably only 30,000 of those will be actual valid votes. So they think they have Ohio. That gives them, in their minds, 269, and they are waiting in this hall for one more state that would, in their minds, ice the election. Well, they could get that one more state provided. Thank you, Wyatt. Uh, they could get that one more state. White Andrews is saying, well, the Republicans are, are saying, listen, we've got Ohio. Provisional ballots or no provisional ballots, they have their own uh, mathematical equation. You can bet the Democrats have that, theirs. Look, there's a lot of gaming going on here now to, to get public perception, to get the strongest image of who's won the election. And this is bound to go on well into tomorrow. But follow it through here. The Republicans are saying, listen, we've got Ohio. And when, when it's settled that we get Ohio provisional ballots or not, that will put us at 269. And they believe they're gonna, they are, we can get the votes to put them over the 270 mark by getting either New Mexico's five or Nevada's five or possibly, possibly Iowa's seven. Iowa's had machine problems, again, not likely to know how uh, Iowa's going to go until at least well into tomorrow. And, of course, Wisconsin's 10 are still out there. So that's the reason that the Republicans profess to be as confident uh, as they appear to be about why they're going to win the election. Bob Schieffer. Uh, I just got off the phone with the White House, Dan. They are absolutely confident that they have won. They say in Ohio, 97% of the vote by their count is in. They say they have 126,000 vote lead there. They say it's now down to nickels and dimes. I ask about, well, what about this 130,000 
uh, provisional ballots that are out there, they say with the lead they have, that every one of those ballots would have to be uh, accepted and everyone would have to be for carry if, if uh, they were to be, uh, you know, if they were to count. They say just flatly they have won.